Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd I'd like to continue our series of the hub. The virtual machine would be Dark Hole Two. I will add the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just. Get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. So now I can go into the Kali Linux. Let's open up the terminal, and we can create our working directory. Yeah. And then make to discover the IP address of the virtual machine. Yeah, we have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine. Then we can do the map scanning. So we wait for this to be completed. I think it will not take a long time. Okay, so far we have already know the there are two open ports from the map scanning results. The first one is twenty two, which runs as as a H service, and also the actual version information. And、uh, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And the second one is eighty, which runs HTTP surface, and the actual version information, which is a patch two. But here you can see we the map have already identified one、uh, JIT repository, yeah, which is very important information for the. For the penetration, we need to keep this into our mind, okay? And now we can open up our browser and visit this virtual machine. So nothing special. We of course here we can log in, but、uh, we didn't have the have any credentials to log in. Because I configure the virtual machine as host only, and、uh, I think there's some code、uh, in this page which will try to connect to outside to connect to internet. Anyway, here we need to enter the email and the password, but、uh, we didn't get、uh, such information yet. So what can we do? We can. Do the directory emulation, for example, like use the GoBuster, and specify the IP address of the virtual machine, and then let's auto complete this command. But I can tell you, we can we cannot find any more useful information. We have, been, for example, although the The GoBuster identified the dashboard dot PHP, but、uh, this is、uh, require authentication. And the、uh, login dot PHP, we have we have already know that. So what can we do? Maybe、uh, to I don't want the video so long, so I'd interrupt this process of directory emulation. So do you remember we have already identified the. The JIT repository. Maybe we can use the JIT dumper、uh, to 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 emulate some information from the repository. Okay, and、um, maybe we can open up a new tab and go to my two sets. Okay, and uh, let's run uh, this Python script. And we need to specify the URL. 
and uh, this should in should include the the git repository pass and also the the directory uh, to store to save the data from the repository okay uh, let's hit enter yeah we have already fetched content from the repository of the virtual machine and let's yeah we go to the backup and uh, we can get a lock yeah i think uh, the second commit added the logging dot uh, php you know with the default credentials so we need to to know whether we can find out uh, there is such information in other version we can use the git diff command and uh, put the id and the git diff will try to to get the to get to the know whether there is any difference between versions okay let's hit enter yeah from here we can know the password and the email we can we can make a copy and uh, make a copy into our notepad and the password is very simple 321 now we have already uh, got the the credential information then we can use such information to log in without any problem right and the password is 321 logging so we successfully logging as admin administrator but uh, this uh, admin portal is very simple but uh, here from the from the pass from the parameter maybe this uh, parameter of id has some has some sql injection vulnerability right so we can make a copy but we need to get the cookie information and go to the network and uh, let's refresh uh, this page now we can get the get the cookie information and then we can use the skill SQL map and specify the the URL okay and uh, we of course we need to put the cookie information but at this time the cookie should be different you know we can make a copy right and then we can paste in here right and uh, let's dump okay we successfully got uh, some information from the database so like uh, email address password and the username contact number but here we got uh, another user and the password so maybe this would be the use name to log in via SSH Jihad. Let's hit enter. The password is a full. Yeah, we successfully log in uh, to the virtual machine via SSH. And uh, of course, we can do like a sudo, but uh, nothing useful here and also we can use the find command to find whether there is any commands has suid bit but not we didn't have uh, we didn't have any such a command for our purpose okay it's okay and uh, so i think uh, what we can can we do is you know we can check the the port number and uh, we can go to the
Okay. Also, we can check the whether there is any cron job running on the background. Yeah, here as you can see, the, this user Lucy will run the this a uh, command. So we can go to the this directory and. Um, So maybe, uh, so maybe we can use the SSL tunnel to tunnel the traffic uh, between this local port number nine 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 and the Kali Linux, right? And uh, we can open up another tab. Go to our working direct directory. We can. Set up the local number, which is also nine 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 nine, and the destination. Destination because the this should be only accessed locally, so the destination IP address is local IP address on the virtual machine. Let's hit enter. Now we can. Access uh, this not uh, local IP address. Yeah, but we need to pass the parameter CMD and uh, CMD. Yeah, we can run the command. So now we have already got the. As you can see, the ID is Lucy. So I think. Uh, um, by running the command, we can get the the privilege of a user Lucy. But uh, after all, we need to get the shell. But how to do it? We need to get the reversed shell. And I have already op opened up the cheat sheet. We can use this one. And uh, we need to make some modification needed to change to IP address of the Kali Linux. I need to confirm. I cannot remember my Kali Linux IP address all the time. And the port number, I can put the 666. It's OK. But we need to do the UI encoding. And uh, go back to our subchef and uh, URL encode, but we need to encode all special ch characters, and we can make a copy and uh, go back to our browser and then. Of course, we need to set up the listener first. We can set up the listener. This time, the port number is 666. And now let's hit enter. Yeah, we got the reverse shell from the from the virtual machine, and the the user name, the user is Lucy, and we can. Python, yeah, Python three. Okay, and we can check this the Lucy. Yeah, maybe we need to get the Lucy password first. And here we can go to the home directory. We go to the Lucy. And we got the bash history, but uh, here no. We can go to the home directory. Go to Lucy. Yeah, we got the user flag here. And also we can 
cat the bash. So maybe the password would be again or this one. We can try、uh, these two password, but、uh, I can tell you the password is again. So sudo again. Yeah, we can run the command Python three to elevate our privilege to root user. So this will be very simple step. We can sudo Python three import OS. OS system. Okay, so we have already become the root user, and we can get the root flag here. So okay, so that's all. I'd like to go through this virtual machine. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.